Welcome to the automation journey with Assist Edge. Assist Edge Community Edition enables a user to design automations and run them using an inbuilt robot. The Automation Studio provides a design environment for creating automations. Automations designed in the studio can be executed by the Assist Edge EVA bot, which is the runtime robot. In this video, we will learn how to create and run an automation for generating a weather report using Assist Edge RPA. The automation is required to read an input Excel file containing names of global cities. For each city, the temperature for the day needs to be looked up from Google. In addition, the automation also needs to report the day as hot or cool. Let us learn how to build this automation step by step using the Assist Edge Automation Studio. To define a new automation, we first create a new process in the Automation Studio. We will build the automation step by step. As the first step, the automation needs to read city names from the input Excel one by one. We drag and drop the Excel loop activity onto the Studio Canvas. Provide the Excel file location containing the input Excel. Once the tool loads the input Excel, select the specific worksheet within the Excel and define whether it contains headers. This enables the automation to read column headers from the Excel worksheet and use them as variables or arguments. Variables and arguments can be used to assign values. A variable can be used only within a specific automation process. An argument can be accessed from outside an automation in the form of input and output variables when it is a part of a larger process. Next, we click on the settings icon to validate or change the data type from different columns in the Excel. Data types can be text, numeric, decimal or boolean. We double click on the Excel loop activity to design the next automation steps for every value read from the input Excel. We drag drop the assign activity inside the Excel loop. This will be used to assign the weather read against the city. We enter the city and assign it with a variable for weather today. Each time the automation looks up the weather of a city, this activity will ensure that it is assigned against that city. Next, we drag drop the application activity below the assign activity on the canvas. This will be used to add Google as an application for the weather lookup. We click on add new application to add an application for the first time. Select the type of application for Google we select web apps. Also provide other details such as application name, login URL, search URL and the preferred browser. As the next step, we need to automate the weather lookup within Google application. We click on the settings icon which will launch the Google application. For every action to be automated within a web application, we first click on the Start Field Configuration button available at the top. We click on this button and select the Google search bar. For every automation activity, the property grid on the right-hand side needs to be updated. Here, we select the action as set value and the input source as city. We again click on the Start Field Configuration button and select the Google search button to automate triggering a search. This time, we select the action as click. Finally, we need to read the result of the Google search. Let us look up the weather for a city. We again click on the Start Field Configuration button and this time, select the temperature to be read. On the property grid, select the action as Get Text. The Find By field provides multiple methods of identifying the desired field from a web application. We can select to find by ID, CSS3 selector 
or by manual selection. Advanced users can choose the CSS3 selector or find the control manually. In this example, the Google search result can be found by the ID itself. Also specify a variable name for the output read from Google. We will save these automation details. While an automation is being run, if a user wants to validate the output, then the right line activity may be used. The right line activity can be defined with the output parameter which will be displayed on the output panel when the automation is run. It can be defined with a visual basic expression from the automation output such as city weather today is city climate. In this example, the output should read New York weather today is 29 degrees. Also, similar to the right line activity, there is a write to log file which updates the automation output onto a log file. It is mainly used for debugging and to capture the automation run details in a log file. Continuing with our automation, we will now drag and drop the write to Excel activity. We will select to write in to the temperature column in the Excel. The value to be written to it is the variable set for the city climate. This will ensure that the temperature looked up is updated in the Excel. For the last leg of our automation, we need to classify the city as a hot or cool day based on its temperature for that day. We drag and drop the IF activity to define a conditional process flow. We define the condition as if city climate is greater than 30. Please ensure to use correct syntax for defining the condition. A wrong syntax will display an error icon. To complete the conditional flow, we will drag and drop the right to Excel activity within the then and else decision blocks. We will select to write in to the Excel column titled Is the day hot or cold? We will define arguments to assign values to this column. The first argument is defined as hot day with a value defined as it is a hot day today. The second argument is defined as good day with a value defined as step out and enjoy yourself. We define the if condition. If the city climate is more than 30, we update the Excel with the argument value for hot day Else, we update it with the argument value for good day. This completes the creation of our automation for the weather report process. We will save this process with a unique name. We will test the automation using the test run feature. Select the option for setup environment. This will launch Google and will set up the test environment. Once the setup is complete, we will run the test automation and view the output panel for the automation output. We can view the automation running the process for all city names by looking them up in Google. We are notified once the automation is complete and the output panel is updated with the details. We will also view the Excel sheet and validate that it has been successfully updated with the temperature and weather report details for all cities. We have now designed and tested the automation for the process using the Automation Studio. The next step is to run it using an RPA robot. As a prerequisite for this, we will publish the automation in the Studio. The published automation is visible under the My Processes section of the home screen. Next, we will deploy this published automation from the Admin screen. In the Deployment tab, we select the automation, click on the Deploy button, select the version and deploy it. We will now launch the Assist Edge EVA bot to run this deployed automation. Allow the EVA bot to launch its console. The Tasks tab lists the automations available to be run by the robot. An automation can be set up to run based on various triggers such as a file trigger, email trigger, or time trigger. These are explained in detail in the training and help videos. In this example, we will select the Run Now button 
in order to run the automation immediately. The Eva bot picks up the automation and starts running it. The notifications display that the automation is running and has been completed. We will view the Excel file and find that the automation has run and the output has been updated. The automation details can also be viewed from the History tab. It provides a detailed log for the automation run. In this video, we have seen how to create or design step-by-step -step automations in the Assist Edge Automation Studio, how to test an automation, publish and deploy it in the Automation Studio, how to run an automation using the inbuilt Assist Edge EVA bot. Similar to automating generation of a weather report, the Assist Edge Automation Studio and EVA bot can be used to build and run your personal automations thus assisting you with your workload and improving your operational efficiency. Happy automating!